I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Siamese Sprints because we're going to make quick decisions with two hands at one time. The purpose is to prepare playing for online or prepare for playing in a tournament. If you have a set of tiles at home, give this exercise a try. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app. We're going to do three sprints. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. We're going to alternate between player one and player two. So we'll get 28 tiles, then 27 tiles, then 28 tiles. The goal is to make decisions in under two minutes. That would be for an advanced player. If you're a beginner, four minutes. If you're intermediate, three minutes. Then push yourself to make decisions in under two minutes and you'll be ready to play online or maybe even play in a tournament. Okay, we have Jokers, Flowers, West, all the dragons with a red dragon pair. One, three, five, six, eight, two, three, four, six, eight, seven, eight, pair of six dots, two, three, four, eight, nine, and bams. I think what I would do here is play. Hmm. Three, six, nine, and like numbers with threes. Or maybe two, four, six, eight would be better. Two, four, six, eight pair hand lap. We have jokers for the like number hand. Joker bait. I think I would keep the three and the dragon because it could be three green or three white. So I think I would keep all the threes and dragons see what comes in and then here play the two four six eight pair hand we could do two four six eight with eights probably we could even maybe do two four six eight with sixes So there are, there are some options. I would start here though, cause there's no gaps. Hold those for options. If you would do something differently here, write sprint one and what you would do with these tiles. Jokers, flower, almost news, red, red, white, green. In cracks, we have one, two, three, five, six, eight, pairs of threes and sixes, four, five, six, eight, nine, and dots, two, five, six, seven, and bams. I think here, one, three, five, pair hand, maybe, and then news, year hand, maybe. Okay, lap. So one, three, five pair hand, 
or one, three, five little odds of some kind, because we have threes and fives. Then I would do maybe like numbers with sixes, or we could do a year hand with news, either in the wind and dragon category or in the wind, uh, the year hand category. I would just keep them all. So, like numbers with sixes look stronger than a year hand, but because we have so many discards, I think I would hold options and maybe even hold evens because we do have some even potential in here with two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight. We're Matt, we're missing a four crack to really make that a strong contender. Two, four, six, eight here. So I think I would probably discard those first and then play, focus on the sixes. Most likely like numbers with sixes. But since sixes are evens, I would hold all the evens, which means I would consider a year hand too, and therefore hold the wins. That's a lot of tiles. But that's how I would do it, I think. Okay, flowers, almost news, green and white, two, four, five, six, and cracks, singles, one, two, four, six, seven, eight, in dots, pairs, four, sevens, and eights, in bams, two, three, four, five, eight. So, four, eight, we have a lot of two, four, six, eight, but we do have some consecutive tiles with seven, eight. Two, four, six, eight, four, four. I think I would try the two, four, six, eight pair hand again, and then let's see what we're left with. Okay. Wow, this one was hard. I would try for the 2468 pair hand. 2468 pair hand with probably fours. 2468 pair hand with fours. And then maybe we could even use this up here for 5678 consecutive run. I would hold them all though and see what works out for the two, four, six, eight pair hand, I would focus on that. And then up here, play something consecutive, five through eight. Maybe using the eights down there, but start by discarding those. This one was a little hard, but definitely the two, four, six, eight pair hand looks really good. Let's see how things went with time. Whether you play Siamese Mahjong online or not, you got to make quick decisions. And if you ever want to play in a tournament, the same applies. You want to try to make decisions in under two minutes. If you're new to the game, let's say four minutes. And if you're an intermediate player, three minutes. Eventually, get yourself down to two minutes and you could play comfortably online or even in a tournament. Let's see how things went with the time. We have sprint one, one minute, 45 seconds. Sprint two, two minutes, one second. Sprint three, two minutes, 17 seconds. So I went over on two. If I were playing online, sprints two and three, the game would have discarded for me. That's not good. That's why I like to practice. And I hope you do the same. It's very challenging and a lot of fun. If you haven't tried it yet, give it a try. Look for my email in the video description below. I can send you information about the VIP trial at Mahjong Time. You can use the same login credentials at the four player game and at SiamiseMahjong.com. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up.
If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.